Hi, Ian. Um, can you please tell us, in your own words, uh, what business psychology is all about? Yes. Uh, business psychology is the field of psychology that uh, looks at the world of work, uh, businesses, organizations. Um, psychology is the study of human behavior, th thoughts, feelings, how we, how we operate as, a human, as human beings. Um, in simple terms, um, yeah. So that's what business psychology is 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 is, is about. You mentioned that you came across uh, an example the other day yes. of how it related to the the world uh, the world of business. Yes. Well, okay. For instance, within business psychology, uh, 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 an area, a subject area that 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 can be uh, uh, looked at. Uh, is the culture of organizations and yesterday I was in London and I was at uh, a couple of uh, hotels uh, uh, very posh places uh, uh, well established international brands and uh, it struck me talking to uh, several members of staff how uh, Hotel X let's say um, very nicely dressed uh, proper um, uh, British English quality emanated from everything that was in, in the building, including the, the attire or costumes of, of the people there. You know, nice tie, everything, you know, proper. The other hotel I was at, same same atmosphere, quite, quite building, and the messages that came from that were very much the same, established, uh, um, uh, an established establishment in terms of, you know, the... The, the, the market segment or within that hospitality industry, uh, but all the staff, to me, strangely enough, weren't wearing any ties. The, the men, and I was talking. Somehow we we started talking about this particular subject and how uh, this mere fact that they are not wearing ties, these male uh, staff, uh, it was imposed uh, by senior management. Not even within the hotel, but you know, higher up in the, the chain, literally of hotels, senior management, uh, operational management of the various hotels, and um, it, it it struck me how how the culture in an organisation sometimes uh, uh, it develops over time, naturally, organically. But in this case, the culture was more or less imposed on people. You know, the, the person there, the concierge, lovely guy, I talked to. Uh, uh, he'd been working there for 20 odd years and all of a sudden he's instructed by you know top level uh, that they are not to wear ties anymore and there, there seemed to me some sort of dissonance there in several ways for one the, several people seemed uh, well it, it certainly it, it was a new habit they had habit they had to learn and secondly, there was a dissonance in the sense that the um, the, the atmosphere of the building um, uh, tradition seemed to be uh, in, in not congruent with the fact that these men had to be modern and relaxed and casual. So yeah, that's that's an example of you know something in well, terms of culture. Well, thanks for sharing that example with us. <laughs> You're welcome.